I, I, I teach in, in, in the Ohio district, the young people. I love going to the camp meetings and uh, I, uh, Sunday school camp meetings, junior high and high, and high school. And I have this roundup uh, 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 as I ain't really uh, athletic. I can play some ball, but it, it, it ain't the type of ball you think is it's, it's just sitting down and, and, and marbles or something. You know, it's, it's not basketball. I do that in my dreams. Listen, I'm, I'm a pro. I'm an expert. I've been to the NFL in my mind. No, I'm just joking. So in Ohio district, they have, uh, uh, much like your district, they have uh, the sports and events, but for those who are not athletic and those who just are there just to have a good time, and I, I have a little group, and I love the group. Uh, it swells up to 60 to 70 to 80 kids uh, who, who, when we go out to recreation, everybody on the ball game and everybody doing what they're doing, and hey, that's fine, do your, do your thing, and that ain't for me. So I sit under a tree with a bag of chips, and I have 60 kids, I do, 60 kids that enjoy that. I mean, it's a ministry. Well, that, I'll get ahead of my... I'm on page seven. Let me go back here. Let me see. And, and while I was there, I, I, I began to teach uh, the young people the power of the amen. So, so I need somebody to do this with me. When you begin to amen the preacher, it pushes them a little bit further. So, so I need somebody to say amen. amen. Somebody say preach the word. Preach the word. Somebody say say it, say it. If you do a combination of those, those three, something is bound to happen. Ah. Uh, the direction of the Lord is coming from this Ephesians, the fourth chapter, and the 16th verse. The preceding verses talks about the ministry. It talks about the fivefold ministry of which your pastor is uh, a man who sits in the office, I believe, of the prophet and the apostle. Uh, I, I believe your pastor has many mantles in which he sits in, in the fivefold ministry. And it talks about the, the gifting of the teacher, the apostle, the pastor, the, the, the bishop, and so forth. And, uh, and, and, it, and it, it outlines the preceding verses, the importance of having ministry in your life. Uh, uh, your pastor instilled something in me that I'm going to give to you because he already gave to you. So this is just a reminder for some that when you receive a word, it is amazing that, that it must go through three chords must go through somebody of a trusted word. It must be filtered through the word, and it must be filtered through you understanding the word. And the preceding verse, it talks about the importance of the ministry. Let me sidebar because this is not in my notes. Everyone in this house is in need of a pastor. Everyone in this house is in need of a shepherd. Let me break the gates of hell that thinks that you can be your own self-savior. No, no, no. You need a pastor that can sit. In, in fact, it's not just the importance of having a pastor. You need a pastor that has veto power in your life. You need a pastor that say, hey, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't go there. You shouldn't buy that. You should pray a little bit. You should sit down a little bit. And, 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 and every person in this house needs a pastor. Oh, you didn't say amen. Every person in the house needs a pastor. Don't be guilty, your neighbor, your neighbor's listening. See, see, every person in this house is in need of pastor. I'm so appreciative of, of my pastor. I'll give you this a brief testimony. My, my pastor, I worked two jobs. I was college. I went to a university, Bowling Green State University, and I, I, I lived there five years, and I began to uh, uh, do the church plant in the inner city. God began to work in the ministry, and I worked two jobs. I was a caseworker for uh, um, child Division of Child and Protective Services, Division of Child Support, and I was a caseworker there, and I worked in the MRDD war, world as a direct care specialist at night. And I worked in the morning, my government job as a case manager uh, for CSB or however you all say it, uh, uh, protective services here in Virginia. But I worked there in the morning and then I worked in direct care specialist uh, with the MRDD board uh, in a group home of, 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 um, of handicapped people. And my pastor came to me and he said, Teron, what are you doing it for? I said, well, you know, I need to make some little money, you know. That Mercedes can't pay for itself. <laughs> Again, I woke up because I didn't have a Mercedes, but I was, I was trying to get one. You know, that big house with a picket fence surely came by itself. And he said, Teron, how about you trust God? And he said, quit that job. Let me tell you the authority of the pastor in your life. I was making some good money. I mean, I was bringing it in. You did, look at me. I was at, I was at a Longhorn every day. Mm -mm. Ain't no dollar menu for me. No, sir. During that time. And, 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 and the pastor said, well, I believe you should focus on the ministry and, uh, and allow God. You need to quit. Surely wasn't going to quit the government job, the state job. They had all the benefits, retirements and everything. Surely. He said, but this night job, you need to quit. I walked out of my pastor's office. 
And I says, I'm going to obey the man because he has authority in my life. And I called my boss, said, boss, I ain't coming in. I said it just like that. And he said, what do you mean? I said, no, I'm, I'm resigning. Uh, I'm going to quit. I went to the work the next day. Um, all was good and fell on some hard times. But let me tell you a testimony that the Lord will provide for you when you listen to the authority in your life. Because I stand here today, all bills paid and some, all be, oh, I, I never lacked. In fact, I make more money now than I did working both jobs because I had an authority. I come to speak to every health person in this room that decide you, you don't need a pastor. No, 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 no. Your pastor is important in your life. He will help you in the direction that you need. Let me, let, me, let me tell you this testimony. This ain't even, in, I feel the lead of the Holy Ghost. I, 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 just recently, I, I, I think uh, Minister Evangelist shared the testimony uh, of, of, of the Lord blessing me. Uh, 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 several months ago, um, I uh, went off to college and trying to pursue a master's degree and things like that. And, and I'm still planning the church, doing the work of the Lord. Can I, can I help somebody tonight? Uh, 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 you, you're going to leave here different than when you walk in. So just, just get, your, get your shoulders ready because you're, you, you're going to leave here different. Uh, just a few months ago, within this year, when you listen to the word of God and you are faithful to the house of God, there is blessings that you unlock. You may not see it now, but there's blessings when you submit yourself to the man of God and people around you in discipleship. Just this, just this month alone. Just this year alone, I, I, I went, I got a call of somebody come and shook my hand. Brother, shake my hand. Whoa, that's a man's handshake. Wow. Right, let me shake it again. Oh, don't hurt my hand now. Hold on. There you go. Okay. See, somebody shook my hand and said, Brother Teron, I want to bless you. I said, hey, look at me. I'm a sucker for a blessing. I don't care if it's fried chicken or, or whatever. I'm a, you bring me a plate, you bring me some socks. Uh, I don't care. I'm a, a hey, peppermint, I dance. Surely will. I, 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 I know it to be true. Watch it, it happens to you. Somebody give you something, you go to dancing. They will give you something else. It's the blessings of God flow. So, so they said, Brother Toronto, I want to bless you. I said, okay. Then they asked, sister, then they asked for my bank account. I said, okay, now, nah, okay. <laughs> Give me a chicken dinner, it's different than my bank account. <laughs> you can't, you can't, okay. He said, well, we, we, we want to bless you. But, 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 but this kind of blessing, we want to uh, deposit something in your account. I said, well, by faith in Jesus' name. So I gave him my secondary account. <laughs> it's okay, I did. You ain't going to get my, pri my primary account. I said, can I give you wisdom? You can't, you know. You got to practice. I love them. Hey, they dress like us, but I don't know. <laughs> They talked in tongues, but I didn't get no interpretation. But anyways, <laughs> let me say this. Let me say this. See, see, so, so I, I did. I gave him, gave him, gave him my account, and, and, and it, was, it was all fan and dandy. And I said, oh, pray, praise God, hallelujah. You know, gave, and they said, we want to deposit it in your account. I said, okay, that's a new way of blessing. Hey, I'll take it. Here's my, uh, my account number and, 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 and whatever. Listen, thanks of God, I woke up that next morning. They said, um, we, we, we want to bless you a little bit further. They said, you went to school, didn't you? I said, yeah, I went to school five years, labored. You know, I, I did my best. Lord sent to revival, Bowling Green State University. I did a CMI, 60 plus students. I baptized in Jesus' name in the student union. For those who are in college, masters, doctorates, whoever, whatever level you are in college, the college needs the truth. College needs the truth. Went off to Bowling Green State University, the headquarters called and wanted an interview. 2015 wanted an interview for uh, uh, what, what happened, the revival that was taking place. Got uh, pictures on my iPad, I'll show you all of it. The baptisms, uh, uh, and, and it, was, it was great. And they said, well, 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 you know, in fact, we want to bless you uh, by paying off all your student loans. Listen, listen, brother. If I dance when somebody give me a peppermint, how much more if I'm going to dance when somebody pays off $100,000?
How, how, how much more? Listen, I come to tell you tonight, God wants to pay off somebody's debt in this room. God wants to bestow a blessing upon you. But, but, but can he trust you with a little bit of blessing? Can he trust you with a peppermint of blessing? Can he trust you with, how would you do when you get a peppermint? How much would he, oh, God saying, can you room, to, can, can you open up room? That's it, brother, that's it, that's it. Can you open up your room to receive a blessing? Listen, they said, you may be seated, they said, Brother Teron, we're going to pay off your debt. Sixty plus thousand dollars. They wiped it clean. And I went to dance and shout, and just on my birthday, July 23rd, there is an abundance of rain in this house. Because I believe that what God's do for me in my life is not limited to me only. What God, how God blesses, it's not limited to just myself. So I don't tell you this to, to, to for you to just, uh, no, I tell you this because God wants to do this and more in your life. Just this, just this uh, birth, birthday, July 23rd, I awaken up to a notification to that same account. And in that same account, they bless me with $10,000. Again, if God can trust you with a blessing of a peppermint, he will open up the door and he will bless you, but you just say, I come to tell you not, stay a little bit faithful because God wants to open up a door. He has no respect to a person. What he's did for me, surely he can do for you. What he did for me, surely he can do for you. Somebody clap and say hallelujah. The importance of the blessings of God comes when there is steadfastness in the midnight hour. Can I, can I teach a little bit or, or, or how, what am I doing? Or however, let me, let me, there is, there is faithfulness in steadfastness in the midnight hour. Let me give you news flash. When you get the Holy Ghost, and you're baptized in his name, and you aspire to live a holy and separate life unto God, holiness does matter. Inward and outward does matter. What we say does matter. What we go does matter. When we take the full counsel of what the man of God in his, particularly his recent series that he's given you, oh, I, I, I just want to be a fly on the wall and receive it. And, and when we take the precepts upon precepts, he said, it's not sometimes the Sunday night that, that all is the show. But thanks of God, it's the Monday night that matters. As a Christian, as a, as a believer, we can put on our Pentecostal costumes, you know, we can have our hair nice, our face clean, our length where it should be, uh, uh, and, and we can put on a Pentecostal costume, but then Monday night and, and Tuesday night, don't, don't catch us in the grocery store. Don't, don't, uh, this is Virginia Beach, surely don't catch us on the beach. Sh sh surely don't catch us uh, 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 when we, when we uh, discipline our kids and we slip up with a word. The steadfastness in God is not, all, it, what we do here on Sunday night is not the catalyst for the week. It is the byproduct of the week. It, 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 it's, 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 it's the vessels of prayer and disciple making and, and, and faith all week. And then Sunday morning, we deposit it together. And then Monday morning is the truth where we come in and say, all right, I'm living for God. There are importance of young people in this room tonight. There's a young, bunch of young folks, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Let me give you a nugget. Young people, when you are in high school, college, master's program, PhD program, it does not matter. It's not the Sunday nights that is the be all to be all. It's the Monday. Because God will bless you not just on Sunday night, but he wants to bless you on a Tuesday afternoon. But he also wants to bless you on a Wednesday morning. But he also wants to send you help on a Thursday, a Thursday evening. Jesus is not just limited to what we do here. But we take the blessings of God. 
But on this Sunday, what Sunday? The, let, let's, let's, let, me, let, me, let me go to where I, where I am. The Bible declares this. He says, and we are the whole body uh, uh, j- uh, fitly joined together, uh, with a c- compacted by which every joint supplieth according to the effectual uh, uh, um, working in its measure of a- each part. See, hear, hear, hear this, thanks of God. See, Sunday, uh, uh, Monday morning, brother organ player ain't, ain't in my house. I mean, I, hey, I love a Hammond B3. If I can buy it, it'll be right at my nightstand, right when I wake up, just, yeah, just, give me, just waking me up, you know? I just, hey, I, I will love it. But brother organ player, minister drummer, and the praise team is not there on a Tuesday afternoon. This walk in God is you plugging into God. But, 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 but what Sunday night does and on Sunday morning, and on a Wednesday night, we come in because we live individual lives. And I don't see every person as uh, all the time throughout the week. We don't, every person don't live in your house. And uh, if you had a mansion, you invite everybody over, I'm sure. But, 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 but what Sunday night does is, is us uh, uh, to say, man, uh, I, had a, I had a week uh, and, 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 and the enemy tried to take me out uh, on a Friday night. And, and, and on a Wednesday morning, my child went wayward. And, and, and I got, a, I got a, a, a letter of foreclosure on a Saturday afternoon. But when I come to the house of God I, I see a brother as he begins to dance and shout and, and, and as he begins to, to worship God and what it does it edifies me see, see the thing is in this room tonight every person has a measure and importance in the body of Christ you are here tonight every person in here matters to the global scheme of what God has important. Let me bring it down. You, brethren, matters to the person sitting over there. You, when you don't show up, you matter. And when you're here, you matter. Why? Because you have a measure that when you begin to lift up your hands, and begin to magnify God here, something in the atmosphere begin to happen. And it begin to unlock, unlock strongholds because you've been there, done that, seen that, and whatever. And that person that's facing the same issue that you went through is in the house. And the spirit and the stronghold on them recognize, uh-oh, there's somebody in the house that got victory. There's somebody in the house that been through this. There's somebody in the house that I, I, I tried with them, uh, but, but I couldn't prevail. Uh, and, and yet, oh then you come in uh, smiling but yet burdened down. And the person over here been through what you're going through, and they, when they been begin to clap when they begin to worship because they worship because God is a victory in their life it shakes the atmosphere over here and it unlocks something over here where you begin to say oh I feel a little freedom why is this because every person in here matters your clap matters your worship matters your praise matters your presence matters in this house you have purpose here Every individual person in this house has a purpose to add to what happens right here. See, the enemy of our soul wants us to believe, well, that person been in true long enough. You know, they, 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 they family Pentecostal. You know, they great, 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 great auntie, uncles. Cousins, nieces, and nephews. In fact, they dog got the Holy Ghost. <laughs> you walk in their house and they cat speaking in tongue. Nah, 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 nah. I'm telling some of y'all, I see him. Some of y'all pray through your animals. Uh, it's okay. That's all right. Nah, 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 nah. I understand. I understand. See, 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 we 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 believe the in, inadequacies of our lives because of the things that we've been through. Is there anybody that can be real and talk back to me that been through something real in their lives? Is there any real folks that had that, that, that some setbacks in their lives? Has some disappointments? 
Uh, or, or, or is there anybody that somebody betrayed you, that, that money was not really where it should be, that, that is there any real people in the house? I want you to shout back at me, hallelujah. Okay, I'm in the right house, I'm in the right house. It is, it is the inadequacies of our lives because what we did, that when we come in the body of believers, we come in with condemnation sometimes. The enemy, the enemy, the, I, let me say this. The Lord is about to free this place to a next level that you've never been before. The Lord is about to take you neck a little bit higher. And a little, you've been to high places, but you ain't nothing, seen nothing yet. God wants to take you a little bit further. And let me, let, let me be an added force in your ascension. Hear this. So, so the enemy of our soul wants us to come with condemnation. The, the, the breaker of the spirit, the, 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 the uh, 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 antichrist, if you will, the, the contrast to, to, to freedom is condemnation. Young people, hear me. It, it's condemnation. Condemnation because of the things you said, because of the things you know what to do that you shouldn't have. Every person in this room knows what not to do. Every person in this room, you're not oblivious when you run that stop sign. And that you, I run a couple of them, and I, and I said, you know, sir, I didn't see that. He said, really? I said, okay, forgive me for lying. <laughs> I saw it, and I chose to go right through it. And, and every person in this room knows, the young folks, old people alike, you know what right to do. And, and sometimes we fall because of our flesh to the wrong. We may slip up and say something. We may not do something. We may, we may whatever, and condemnation comes in, and we bring our heads down, and, and, and we say, surely I, I can't worship. I can't, I can't do. I can't, I can't, I can't. See, see, when we have in this house a judgmental spirit, when somebody messes up, it pushes away the freedom that God wants to release in this city. When you're sitting down and you say, oh, here she come again. Sure, we know what she's been through. We, we know what he's been through. The, the critical spirit breaks and stops and hinders the move of God in this place right here. A critical spirit. We know what we did wrong. Yo, that person coming through the door know exactly, no, no, they don't dress like us. No, maybe they not speak like us. Maybe, maybe they, they know what they do wrong. But when the body of Christ, when we, come, when we see them coming, how do we break the stronghold of condemnation? We break it by this, every person edifying itself in love. Hey, I know what you did, but come on and sit right here. I, I know what you've been through, but come on and sit right here. I, 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 I know what you got in your purse, but come on and sit right here because what I know is uh, that my God is greater than what's in your purse. Uh, my God is greater than what's at your house. Uh, my God is greater uh, than the enemy that's facing you right now uh, because why? Uh, I matter and I have a measure because when I clap, uh, it breaks what's in your purse. Uh, when I clap, uh, it breaks what's in your house. Uh, when I begin to worship, uh, when I dance, uh, when I shout, uh, something begins to release uh, in this house uh, because I got a measure. Uh, I got a measure to help you get to where God needs you to go to. Look at your neighbor and say, I got a measure for you. Look at them again and say, I got a measure for you. I got something to offer. See, the revival that's taking place is taking place in this house where when they come in the door and they see them coming, you come in with a smile. You ain't got to put on them a robe because they don't dress like us. Because let them stay a little while. They'll start looking like us. Let them stay a little while. Most importantly, you got backslidden loved ones that needs to come back home. You got backslidden loved ones that if only right, the enemy of condemnation right where they are. In fact, every hand lifted right now. In the, we come against every condemnation of every backslidden person from, from North, Norfolk Apostolic. We declare love will be sent to them. Come on, send love to them now. We declare every backslidden child. We declare every backslidden loved one. We declare somebody lost in a sexual uh, alley disorder. We Come on, in the name of Jesus. 
I declare loved ones uh, are coming home uh, because this place uh, is a place uh, that hey, 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 hey we're, we got a measure to help them. Uh, we got a measure to, come on, there's no condemnation here. Uh, by the authority of the word of God uh, and the power in the name of Jesus, uh, we send forth power to every backslidden loved one, sons, daughters, children. They can be backslidden for 50 years. God has the use of you to reach them. Now, if you believe God did it, clap your hands and begin to worship him. Come on, if you believe God's doing it, come on, come on. Come on, just stay where you're sitting. Just, just, just sit down and begin to clap right where you're sitting. Come on, begin to clap. He's sending them home. They're coming. To, imagine them coming to the doors. There they are. There they are. There they are. He's shining You matters. Is this a young people section right here? All right, so about, what, 12, 13-year-olds? 10-year-olds. 16. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right, young people. You got to measure. You important to the greater happening here. Because if you look around, there's some people with white hair. I'm I'm, I'm, going to come to you white hair people in a minute. You're going to get a blessing too. Young people. You got to measure because, stand up, my brother. Look at this guy right here. Mighty God. All right, ladies, settle down. <laughs> settle down, settle down. He's, he's only 12. How old are you? 16. Oh, shucks. All right. That's all right. Brethren, uh, I want you to stand right here and I want you to begin to clap. Go ahead, just clap. No, 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 nobody else. Powerful, isn't it? Powerful. Thank you, brother. The scripture says, stand up, keep standing. <laughs> it's all right. It's your debut. Somebody going to get your number. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. See, see, the Bible says that one will put what? A thousand to flight. But two, brethren, stand up. You clap and you clap. Oh, oh, Wow. There's unity because he's strong by himself. But when he got somebody else clapping with him, it joins. How about we all stand up and clap? What happens? What happens? Come on, what happens? Come on, come on, come on. I, I think I hear some chains breaking. I hear some chains breaking. Now lift up your voice with it. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Unity breaks the shackles. Unity breaks the strongholds. Unity breaks the hand of the enemy. I don't know what you're going through, but I got something to give you. I got something to give you. Come on, just a little bit longer. Come on, that's it, that's it, that's it. Your clap is breaking the shackles of your neighbor. Your clap is breaking the stronghold. The addiction that you used to be under is breaking somebody else's addiction. My God. Go ahead and be seated. Shout back at me, hallelujah. hallelujah. Why did this matter? How does my clap add to the ministry? How does my worship over here affects over there? Let me help you out. The Bible declares that this is the fundamental purpose and plan of the church in its inception. The church was built on somebody over there helping somebody over here. How is that made possible? Because the Bible declares in Acts 2, they were in one place. They were all together in one place. And the person over here joined in with the person over here. And the scripture says they were in one place and on one. Come on, church. One place and on one. And something miraculously happened. 
because this person began to lift up their voice and begin to magnify God with all the mess they're going through and all the hell that they face, they begin to lift up the name of Jesus. And this person over here began to join in with that lifting of the name of Jesus. And when both one here and one here and one here and one here and everybody join in, the Bible said, and suddenly something began to happen. The Holy Ghost is unleashed when we're joined in unity together. Shackles begin to break. Strongholds begin to fall. The addiction has to be at bay because we're joining. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, I got a measure. I got a measure. You have an important thing to play. See, 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 your sin will not hinder revival. Your Addiction will not hinder revival. Your setback will not hinder revival. But disunity will. You fall into whatever trap the enemy had you come in. Hey, revivals keep on going. Go with or without you, it's going to go. But when you come in here and you sit... Oh, they singing that song again. Yes, we are. And we're going to sing it again after that. Pastor preaching holiness again. Pastor preaching separation again. Pastor preaching one God again. Pastor preaching giving again. Oh, okay. You're murmuring and complaining. The only thing that divides revival is division within the body. See, because, because what division, the Bible said, is so discourse. It begins to block. Furthermore, it's just like a wall. If the person here is getting a breakthrough and, and you're looking at them with a snarky attitude, the likelihood of somebody else joining in with them, because they don't want to be also like, you know, okay, well, you know, when, when somebody is getting a breakthrough, dancing, shouting, leaping, jumping, or just sitting in the presence of God, worshiping God, and somebody comes over to them and, and, and look at them and says, mm, I know what they did and I know who they did it with, it hinders the moving of God because then we got a hand to say, hey, you got to stop that. You shouldn't, you shouldn't do that. But, but, but when somebody is dancing and shouting, getting a touch from God, and you go over there and you say, that's it, come on, that encouragement will make them go further. There is a reason the gladiator spirit of the sports industry has crowds. I, I, I don't want to step on nobody's toes. Let me, the, 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 the secular sporting world has crowds because they know that if I get a crowd and I'm playing the ball or I'm running down this and I hear somebody root my name Go ahead, Teron, get it, get it. It encouraged me to go a little bit further. Just, ah. But how much more when I lift my hands and my sister over here says, that's it, honey, go ahead. Oh, I reach a little bit higher. Mm. Oh. When I take off running and somebody fans me to say, that's it, that's it, that's it. Listen, I come to tell you, you got a measure and you got a part to play in what happens here. And what you, hey, what you do here, it does matter because the God wants to unleash something and he needs you to get on a cord to allow the opening door of his blessings. Please be seated. The Bible says Judas sat with them at the table he was, the, he was one of the high men's, and, 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 but at the end of the day, he betrayed Jesus. Betrayed him so much with the kiss, and, and, and he was walking with Jesus. He was, he was there. He was on the Last Supper. Jesus offered him the, the, the sop and, and gave him an opportunity to repent, uh, uh, but, but yet he decided to, to be in division. The, 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 the other son from the prodigal son who was in the house and snarked when they said, Dad, you're going to do all of that for him? And, and, and when the prodigal son came and the father began to run after him, the son in the house began to say, mm, 
begin to murmur and begin, begin to complain and, and begin to, to say, surely, you know, the, 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 the men, when the scripture declares, when Bartimaeus began to cry out to God and, and, and begin to uh, say, thou son of David, have mercy upon me. Uh, 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 the men begin to say, hold thy peace. Shut up. Be quiet. Listen, church, th there's going to always be somebody that don't want to see you blessed. Can I be real tonight? I, I'm, I know we preach, we got to be on one. There's this always going to be somebody that ain't going to want to see you with what the blessings of God has for you. There's always going to be somebody. I declare it just won't be you, though. I, 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 the, the people that, that, that is in the house that is going to get a blessing are going to be those that are the encourager to say, come on, we're going to make it. Come on, I understand what you did. I, I, I understand what you... I had the privilege to go to um, the New York uh, and, and, and you see any building, any structure ever built, the builders know something powerful that the builder, building in industry understands the fundamental truths of unity because I cannot put a window on a, on a, on a, a hangar window when there's no walls. I can't put a roof when there's no foundation. I, I, I can't put electricity box when, when, when the, see, see the building industry understands there's a process. The, 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 there must be those who levels the ground. I, I just imagine the plumbers coming to put in a toilet and, 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 and on the 17th floor and there's not even the 5th floor. Can you imagine them building that toilet that high and just watch it fall? Okay, anyways. <laughs> Bloop. Go ahead, go ahead, take a two up there. Anyways, so, so, so the, 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 the plumbers and the electricians, the framers, the roofers, the painters understands that there is a process in building. Every person working together. Because, because when you work and you add, then I'm able to do my part. In this room tonight, you have a measure to offer in this church. I don't, you, I don't know exactly what your position and purpose is with the submission to your pastor and humbly submitted to the Holy Ghost. God will help you understand that purpose and that position. But most importantly, you have a purpose because somebody in this room tonight is here to put paint on the walls. Somebody in this room here is to be the roofer. Somebody in this room to be to lay the carpet because when it all said and done when I do my part God begins to bless when I do my part God begins to open up the doors when I got a measure I got something to add I got something to help you you need a blessing let me help you out you need God to move let me help you out somebody shout hallelujah it is important that we know the value that we possess you got to know that when you walk in the sanctuary, uh-oh, something is going to happen because I'm going to add to it. <laughs> uh, 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 something is going to be, because, and when you hear discourse, uh, 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 I can't hear that. Hey, guess, guess what sister so-and-so did yesterday? She baked that cake. Don't, 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 don't take it. It's disgusting. You know, when, when, you, when, when you, see, how do, how do you break discourse? Let me tell you how. You look at that person and say, excuse me, is, is, does that help? Is that helpful? Is, is, that, is that, see, the enemy don't like to be exposed. He just wants you to go along with it. Somebody coming to you with some mess and you say, Sh you know, is that, is that good to, to get? They look at you like, uh, who, who you think you are? When the enemy is exposed, I guarantee you this, that person ain't going to come to you again. That person with some, with some mess, they ain't going to come to you because they know, oh, she, see, that person ain't going to receive it. But wh wh why? Because I got a measure to add to the workings of this house tonight. 
Because in this house tonight, there's blessings. I, I, I'm, I'm, musicians come because the Holy Ghost is about to move. You got a measure to offer. Every person in the sound of my voice, you got a measure. And tonight, your measure is going to help somebody receive what they need from God. Somebody's going to be blessed because you got a measure to say, hey, I got some stuff in God that I am in need of. What we're going to do is tonight we're going to do this and we're, we're going to repent first. We're going to ask the Lord to forgive us for not playing our part and being a hindrance to revival. God, forgive me for the words I said that causes division. Search my heart. And then next, next, uh, next prayer is the altar appeal. It's going to cause three areas of people. People need healing in their body. People need healing in their bodies, mind, and finances. And people that need the Holy Ghost. And we're going to help them get tonight what God has for them. But first, we're going to pray, pr uh, repent right where you sit. And you're going to allow God to increase the measure that you have. Because when you stand up and come to this altar, somebody's going to be blessed because of you. Somebody's going to shackles be going to break because you're going to say, mm -mm, I, I, I'm not going to allow them to leave here until they get everything God has for them. In this room tonight, every, every, however you want to repent, but sit down, stay seated. We're going to repent. We're going to just repent on this wise. Jesus, forgive me for anything that has caused me to sow discourse, that has caused me to be division, that has caused me to not be obedient to the man of God, that has caused me to, uh, 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 to, to allow. Come on, begin to repent to yourself. Lord, forgive me for holding myself back. Forgive me, God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, oh, God, forgive me for the words that I've said. Oh, God, forgive me for the things that I've done. Search my heart, God. If there's anything in there, be God. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Come on, that's it. Come on, I feel something happening in this room. Oh, God, let me be a blessing to the work. Oh, God, whatever I've said to hurt my sister, whatever I've said to hurt my brother, whatever I have said to cause a division and discourse, whatever I've done, God, forgive me. Forgive me. i got to measure. Now begin to pray. Now, God, help me to be a blessing to my sister. Come on, begin to pray. God, now help me to be a blessing to my brother. God, if they need a breakthrough, let me help them out. If they need the Holy Ghost, let me help them out. If they need something, let me be a blessing. God, I grow my, come on, Jesus, the measure that I have, I will grow it now. Let it be germinated in my heart. Oh, God, let the tree of my measure begin to blossom. Let me be a blessing tonight. Let me be a blessing here forth. Oh, God, now, in the in the name of Jesus, I want to be a blessing. Is there anybody that wants to tell the Lord, I want to be a blessing? Oh, God, if you're healing, I want to get it. If you're deliverance, I want to get it. I want to be a blessing. Forgive me. Help me be a blessing. Help me be a blessing. Let me use my measure tonight. Somebody's in need of you. Let me help them get it. Somebody needs a breakthrough in their mind. Somebody's wrestling with suicide. Somebody's wrestling with family. Come on, let me be a blessing to them tonight. In the name of the Lord. Come on, just a few minutes. Come on. Come on, I want to be a blessing because when you stand on your feet, something is going to happen in this place. Lord, I want to be a blessing. I want to be a blessing to my sister when I lay my hand on her back. I want to be a blessing to my brother when I lay my hand and grab his arm. Now, I want to be a blessing. I'm going to be a blessing. I, come on, now begin the divine division. Lord, right now we begin the divine division. Anything that hinders the work of God in this church, anything that hinders God to move, come on, begin to bind. Take your message and begin to bind division. Come on, take your measure and begin to bind division in this church. Anything that causes discourse, anything that causes division, we come against it. We come against it. If it's my mama, we come against it. If it's my brother, we come against it. Oh God, if it's ever been me, I come against it. We bind division now. Musicians, I'm sorry, and praise team, just join us if you will. No music tonight, because God's getting ready to do something. Thank you all, I'm sorry. Come on, come on, begin to bind division. 
we're about to stand and something's about to happen. Oh, but I want my, my measure to be full. Come on, come on, let it break in you. Let it break in you. Say, see that that's it. We bind the vision. We bind every person that's against my pastor's vision. Come on, right now. Bishop Blankenship and First Lady, every person, every D thing, and every demonic stronghold that's against the vision of this house, in the name of Jesus, stay seated, stay seated, the Lord is about to move. We come against every division that's against the man of God, every pastor, every Spanish work. We come against every division in Hampton. We come against every division, every daughter work. I take my measure and I take authority now. Every division in the female group, the women's group, every division in the men's group, every division among our youth. Come on, young people. I take, the, I take dominion in the young people. Everything, everything that would divide our young people, we take authority now. Everything that divides our young women and our young men, Somebody take authority. Use your measure. Use your measure. Oh, God, I stand in unity now. God, I stand in unity now. I stand in unity. I come against condemnation. Condemnation on the backsliders. Condemnation on the world. Condemn I stand against it now. I stand in my shana na madiya kanidiye. I declare right now, he shana. This my church shall be blessed. He ko shandi di elbo ko shaya. Yeah, God. Yeah, God. Yeah, God. We come against every dividing work. Oh, God. Ina na 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 madini ana na mashay. Come on, that's it. Don't look around. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We come against division in this house. Division against the man of God and his teachings. By inspired by the word of God, he's not going to lead us astray. Division against every, every ministry. Somebody take a burden for our, uh, the campuses and the daughter works. Any division that happens there, oh, shot down. Any misunderstanding. Somebody come against every misunderstanding. Make it right, God. Make it right. Help, help me. I don't know what it is. I don't know where it is. And I don't know who. But make it right tonight, God. It was just a misunderstanding. Come on. Satan, you will not have stronghold here. Satan, you will not have a stronghold here. That's it, that's it, that's it. Shana na mandirio, shani de behe. All right, now I want you to look at me. We're not quenching the spirit, we're gonna now take it higher. Condemnation will grip our hearts, but we come against every condemnation right now. This is a safe place. It does not matter what you've been through, it does not matter what you did and who you did it with. This house is the house of love. Because when you're here, you will not leave here in which the way you walked in. You won't leave her the way you walked in. And I declare it now. The things that you have at your house, the Lord said, Lord, has quickened in you. You know exactly what's at your house that you need to get rid of. And in Jesus' name, God's going to help you. So in this room tonight, no condemnation. But there's two groups of people that God wants to touch. Well, there's several groups of people. If you're here tonight and have never spoke with other tongues or need another touch of the Holy Ghost, don't move now. I want you to come. If you're here tonight and need healing in your body, I want you to come. If you're here tonight and needs healing in your finances, I want you to come. In that order, in the name of the Lord, those that need the Holy Ghost for the first time or another touch, 
healing in your body or healing in your finances. I want you to come now in Jesus' name. Stand up here, stand here, stand here. Everyone else stay seated. Everyone else stay seated. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. I need a healing in my body. I need a touch of the Holy Ghost first and in, first in feeling. Oh, I need a touch in my finances. Everyone else, please stay seated. Make room. We're family here. We're family here. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Don't come with the bow down head. You're about to get what you need. Oh, don't come with the bow down head. You're about to get exactly what you need. Don't come. Now, I want everybody else to come and fill in in the back. Everybody else to come in and fill in in the back. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Just for I know who, I'm, who we're working with. Come on, everybody else, fill in the back. Fill in the back. Fill in the back. So glad to see you, brethren. I want every eyes closed right real quick, real quick. Those that need the Holy Ghost for the first time. Every eyes closed. Every eyes closed. Those that need the Holy Ghost for the first time, I want you to raise your hand. I want you to raise your hand. You need the Holy Ghost for the first time. The Holy Ghost for the first time. Hands are lifted. Hands are lifted. To my left and to my right, there's hands are lifted. You need the Holy Ghost for the first time. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Je every eyes closed. Every eyes closed. Put your hands down. Every person, every eyes closed that need another touch of the Holy Ghost, I want you to raise your hand. Hands are lifted all around. Hands are lifted all around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hands are lifted all around. Hands are lifted all around. All right? Put your hands down. And every person that needs either a healing in their body or a financial blessing, uh, open up the door. I want you to lift up your hands in the name of the Lord. Hands are lifted. 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 In the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Put your hands down. All right? So the altar call is according to this. Brethren, can you put the scripture? You already took it down. The Bible declares, we're going to read this scripture, and this is going to be the catalyst of our, of our altar appeal. The Bible declares in the 16th verse, it said, from whom the whole body is joined together and compacted about. Joined together and compacted about. Compacted, the Bible says, it's, t it's tight. Water cannot seep through compaction. Compacted about with every joint supplying according to its measure of every part increasing the body and love. The person tonight, you are not going to pray for your blessing, but you're going to play, pray for the blessing of the person standing next to you. Why? Because as you begin to pray for that person until they get a breakthrough and you don't let them go until they feel a breakthrough, God is going to see about your house in the name of the Lord Jesus. As you begin to... I want you in the name of the Lord Jesus to find you have a need. And in fact, right now, I want every voice as loud as you can. I want you to begin to call out the need that you need right now in the name of the Lord. Call out the need that you need. Call it out. Call the family. Call the amount $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, $4,000. Call, Call it out. 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 If it's special unspoken, say, God, you know, you know I'm on a brink. I'm on a brink of a financial calamities. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Yes, God. 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 All right. Now, the floodgates of heaven is about to open now. Now, God's about to release exactly what you need. Because you're not, you already told God what you need. But you're going to make sure your sister and your brother gets what they need. In the name of Jesus, I want you to go to somebody being appropriate. And I want you to look at them in the eyeball and tell them I'm here to make sure you get what you need from God. 
I'm here, go ahead. It can be three, it can be three of you all, it can be four, it can be five, it doesn't matter. Three, four, five of y'all. Now, in the name of Jesus, I declare that my brother and my sister gets what they need from God. I declare that you will open up the door. Bless my brother, bless my sister. Let them get a blessing. Let them get an open door.
Now go ahead and go, go ahead and go to somebody else. Come on, go to somebody else. Two or three or four of y'all, go ahead to somebody else. And tell, come on, you're going to get what God has for you tonight. You're going to get what God has for you tonight. Go ahead and go to somebody else. Come on, go to somebody else. As you see about the body, God's going to see about you.
Come on, we got one person received the Holy Ghost for the first time. Come on, come on. Speaking in other tongues. Speaking in other tongues. When you're done praying, go to somebody else. When you're done praying, go to somebody else. Come on, the Spirit of the Lord is not through here. The Spirit of the Lord is not through here.